This is a, a Yale one star Euro profile cylinder. Uh, a good friend called Mark has given this to me and um, there's no key. So uh, I believe that he actually managed to uh, use a pit gun to open this on the door and uh, he's given it to me now. So I'm going to have a go at picking it with this uh, Yale 6B leashy type two in one tool tool and uh, we'll just see how we get on with it. So let's just uh, work our way through this lock. So first pin has given me a bit of a loose click there at the top. We'll leave that on alone. The second pin is offering some resistance. It's bound. There we go. That's given me a click now uh, and we'll leave it there. Third pin is bound. There's a click and it's I can't see whether that's set or not. One, two, three. Let's give four a nudge. Okay, four's giving me a click somewhere around about there. Five, or oh, five is heavily tight, is bound. A little bit of a click, almost like a zero lift on that. Let's go six. In fact, six has done exactly the same as what five just done, six and five. Four, three, two, and one. I'm getting lots of feedback from this lock. Lots of clicks and uh, three doesn't feel right. I'm not quite sure what's going on with three. Every time I touch three, it drops other pins. Ah, there we go, I've dropped into a full set. Bit of counter rotation there on two, not a lot, but enough to set the pin. Uh, and there we go, we've got the lock open. So, uh, so yeah, uh, some interesting feedback from that, but um, we've obviously managed to, uh, to decode that. Uh, the, um, interesting enough, uh, it looked like pin five and six were, were very um, at low cuts on the key. Uh, so uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, take this out of the vise, uh, strip it down and we'll uh, have a look, see what's inside. 